this session about rank like all groups. All of you know very well how important are rank cycle definitions to properly schedule operations inside your plan. Well, with rank cycle groups, you can do even a better job by defining more complex rules together in order to suit your needs for very complex scheduling plan. Let's see in details how run cycle groups works. Basically, run cycle group is a, a, a grouping of run cycles. It are they are defined here. And uh, let's see, for example, this group, group one, it is based on a calendar. In our case, it's the group one and we will see how it is defined and in this case our group is made of four rules let's say what we would like to accomplish with this group one basically our scheduling need for example is to have operation running on the first and on the 15th day of the month of each month beside February. Also, we would like to schedule an operation on the last working day if it is Friday. Let's see how we are doing this by using run cycle groups. We have here defining defined a rule one, so we can define a rule one. This this rule one is of type run type, so it defines when an operation has to be run, and it it has a rule two, meaning that if it is occurring on a holiday or on a not working day, it is shifted to the following first working day. Let's see in detail how rule one is made. Basically here we are defined to run an operation only on the first and the 15th day of the month. If we issue a gen days, We can see here that it is defined on the first and on the 15th day of the month. Since we are using a three day rule too, as we can see here, the desired the third day of first is a Sunday. So it is moved to the first working day. And the same is occurring for the 15th that is moved to the first day following working day. We can see this uh, is applied to all the year and you are defining the rules, uh, the, the dates according to your rule one. But this is not what we want because we want also that uh, all the operations are not scheduled on February. So the, we have defined the year a second rule that is exclusive and in this rule we are going to exclude every workday in February. So basically if we uh, run uh, this rule we can see that no Beside February, in which it is acting, no other month is impacted. So all those days will be excluded by this rule number two. If we would like to see the combined effect of rule one and rule two, we have defined here a group T1 that, as you can see, is made by rule one and rule two that we have defined and if we 
issue, the gender is here, we can see the combined effect of rule one and rule two. If we go to January, we see that it is the first and the 15th, and on February, we do not have anything scheduled. On March, it is starting again, April, May, June, and so on. Let's go to group one again, because we have to define uh, the other uh, need uh, for scheduling. That is, we would like to have an operation run the last working day if it is Friday. We have defined here a rule three that is based on uh, this type A. That means uh, that it is run if all the rules are, are applied to type A. And we can see how it is made. In, in this case, we are scheduling an operation if only if it is the last work day of the month. We can see the gen days here. And as you can see, it is just the last day of each month that is scheduled. But we would like also that the last day must be a Friday. With this rule four, we are defining an operation only on the last Friday of the month. So that combining rule three and rule four, and we have done this in group T2, T2, as you can see here, we can see that with the gen days, basically we are scheduling on the last day of the month only if it is Friday. Here we have no, no. Here we have, yeah, here, here we have, here we have and so on. So basically, with these those two rules, we have made the second requirement. So let's see in group one, if we issue a gender what we are getting. This is the application of all four the, the rules that we have defined. So we have the first, the 15th, and the last day, if it is Friday. Here it is moved to the third, since Sunday and, and Saturday are not working days. And, and the, the same result you can see here in November, and this is also in the other days. Nothing on Feb February, as you can see, beside what is defined in the other rule, that is the last day, if it is Friday, the last working day. Uh, just to be uh, safe here, uh, I would like to show you how the fourth one calendar is defined. The fourth one calendar is defined in, uh, in, uh, in this way. All the weekdays are working days beside Saturday and Sunday. So it is matching the calendar that we have defined. Let us see how we can use this uh, run cycle group that we have defined. Uh, when we are defining an application, and uh, uh, we can see here some application that we have defined, for example, application one, uh, we have defined a run cycle for this application. And uh, uh, how is it defined? It is defined only for the days that are defined inside this group one. That is the one that we have defined before. In fact, if we run engine days, as you can see, we have 
the same calendar that we have seen before when defining the run cycle group. There is another important point here to highlight. Here you see a parameter uh, uh, on this panel that is the ship. Uh, what about uh, the, these needs? I have defined a, a set of rules, I have defined my calendar, but for some application, I need to shift it of one day or two days, three days, and so on, because I need the same uh, window, the same rules, but I need to move the, the window. Well, uh, in the, we can use the shift. And for example, uh, we have here defined an application too. And if we see uh, the run cycle for it, as you can see, uh, we have defined it with the shift, shift of one day. And if we can see the calendar, the, uh, the rule, it is only the day that are coming out from group one. So we are using the same run cycle group as before, but the effect due to the shift is the different. If we see the gen days, we can see here that it all is moved on one day. Instead of the first, we are scheduling on the second. Instead of the 15, uh, we are scheduling on 16, and and so on. So basically, we are moving uh, what uh, is uh, scheduled uh, according to the previous rules of one day's head. That's all for today for the run cycle group. Hope uh, it helps to to clarify how they work and how they can be used and can be applied applicable to your scheduling plan. Thank you.